Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see our Mom Congress family and members. Um, as always, let's get to know one another a little bit more. I feel like a lot of you all already know each other, but we've had some new members join us recently as well. So in the chat, if you could share your name, your location, um, and if you're a Mom Congress member or a visitor, name, location, Mom Congress member or visitor, and I'll share a fun fact about my location today, like my actual, I'm actually in the hospital. Um, I'm on the PQC uh, birth equity committee. So I have that meeting right after this. So that's my location right now during our time together. Ebony, can you tell us what a PQC is? Because I think most people on the call know, but I want to make sure that if they don't, they do. Because I think we have a lot of PQC members amongst us. But if you'll tell us more about what that work is. Yeah, so I sit on the, um, I sit on, I'm so sorry, guys, I just got to, um, I sit on the Illinois um, Perinatal Quality Collaborative Committee, um, and so in our local community and region, I actually serve as the community ambassador, and so we talk about um, structure systems and structures that need to be in place to embrace birth equity in our specific region. Um, and so that's a little bit about what I do, what the um, committee is, but they're all over, all over the US. And like I said, I serve as their community ambassador. That's fantastic. We have lots of members in the chat today. It's so great to see all of you. Thanks for being here with us. All right. Oh, I'll take this. Thank you. <laughs> so we want to share with you all um, current member action alerts. So um, as you'll probably see in the emails that you receive, we uplift the calls to action that are related to our mom's agenda bills. So this is just a quick note for you all that the Shine for Autumn Act was heard in the Energy and, Com Energy and Commerce House Committee last week. Um, so the current ask is um, for anyone who's advocating for Shine to please call both your house member and both of your senators. So three um, advocacy calls in total. Um, I will put these links in the chat for you as well. Um, these just have great little scripts and information on the Shine for Autumn Act. Um, and I know that everybody who's currently on is a member, but if you're watching this and you're not yet a member and you're curious about what this is all about, um, if you become a member, you're welcome to jump in and receive training on any of our mom's agenda bills. So it's our package of annual legislation that we advocate for. The Shine for Autumn Act is one of those bills. Shaden, thank you so much. So um, the Shine for Autumn Act um, is a bill specifically relating to stillbirth. And I will actually drop all that information in the chat too. We have um, brief information on the website and then the training video dives deeper. And then I'll also share um, for members that on the member webpage, there is access to the slides as well, which gives the breakdown from Debbie about the Shine for Autumn Act, um, what it does, its its previous iterations, so on and so forth. So it goes a lot more deep than what's just printed on the website. So I will provide those links to you all now. Um, and Ebony, you can go to the next slide. So we are going to review our purpose. We wanted to do this because before we actually launch, we just want to continue to provide the Mom Congress community um, with information on why we're doing this and what to expect. So today, that's essentially what we're going to discuss um, and give you all some background and context as to what led up to this, um, along with how to register. We want registration to increase for these sessions, so we'll go over how to register um, and things of that sort. So I think this is still me, Crystal. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> okay, good. I think Crystal's dropping some links in the chat as well. So some of you all may have been with us for our National Day of Racial Healing. I won't go through what all that entailed. The link, though, to the recording is there. And what we really want to do is have a community that's not just a one and done when it comes down to racial healing. This needs to be ongoing, and it needs to be embedded in what we do. And so this will be an ongoing opportunity 
to engage in um, conversations and, and I guess you could say training to an extent um, as it relates to racial healing, but more so community conversations and, and bringing our learning together as it surrounds racial healing. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to click that. Let me let me click the actual slide. Um, and so here's just a brief slide about why racial healing matters. I'm not going to read each bullet point, but just in case someone has like, what is racial healing? We've never heard of this term. Um, what does this even mean? Um, this just kind of gives you an overview about why it matters, kind of conceptualizes um, racial healing and why it matters. <laughs> As I mentioned, we had a um, we had the National Day of Racial Healing. Then we had a community conversation um, about racial healing and our work moving forward. Um, and that was very insightful for Crystal and I as well to hear from our Mom Congress community about how should we approach this. Um, how are you feeling about this? What are your thoughts? What is racial healing to you? And so we will and have been using that insight and feedback to. Um, to uh, in our approach moving forward with how we, we are launching our um, sessions. Um, this, once again, just brief overview about um, the connection to racial equity and racial healing. Um, and I'm gonna try to say this word without completely messing it up. Econocimiento um, is, um, rooted in a Latino movement. Um, and it, it just, we felt like it, it, it lend, lended itself to outlining, you know, what we want to accomplish and establish with our Mom Congress member community. Okay, so did you want to add anything for that one? Yeah, I just, we, I think we found it as a concept that just really spoke to sort of what we're doing. We're not looking to, um, separate out our groups at all. What we're trying to do is kind of create an affinity group within the mom Congress member community um, for people to really dig deep together. So that this concept, and you said it beautifully, Ebony, of a conocimiento uh, really spoke to what we're looking to help foster a, cult a culture of, and culture, excuse me, a cultivate a culture of belonging. Um, and I love the, the tagline here that it's not an icebreaker, but an engagement practice that encourages people to bring their full selves into the room. And so I think that's something that we'll keep coming back to when we do go through these RELS sessions together as small groups um, is to bring your full self and, and to really find some amazing healing as a small group together. Okay, and I will jump right in here to that end. So um, thank you, Ebony. She's unpacked for us. You know, we honored the National Day of Racial Healing. We heard from the community that we wanted to go deeper on this work, um, hosted an internal group discussion. And to that end, we have found um, what we think is a really phenomenal program that you all are going to enjoy. Um, what we're going to give you now is an overview of that program. Um, and please ask any questions that you may have in the chat. Um, we're going to just endeavor to give you some insight about the program and then let you know how Mom Congress is going to apply that to our member community. Um, we'll have this first initial offering here in the spring, but we will be doing this several times and in several different manners. So to give you an overview of um, the Racial Equity Learning Series, which is brought to us by the National Healthy Start Association and the Alliance for Innovation on Maternal Health. So the AIM CCI is the community care initiative that helped develop this online series. And we can go to the next slide. Um, <clears throat> so what is the racial equity learning series? Um, I will give you a moment to briefly um, review what's been written here. And then um, we will also put a link in the chat right now that links out to the frequently asked questions. But the most important thing for you to know that it, um, it's a comprehensive evidence-informed program aimed at reducing inequitable clinical practices that are contributing to poor maternal outcomes. So we've said, you know, racial equity, racial equity. This is really laser focused on the maternal child health community and on maternal health work, um, which we think is just 
couldn't be more, couldn't be better for our community. Um, and then Ebony, if you'd like to link out to the FAQ, I will drop a link in the chat to it as well for people to access. And the main thing we want you to take away here is that um, you'll see that Mom Congress is bringing this virtual program forward and offering it in a small group guided setting, but you can participate in the RELS program individually at any point in time. So if you hear this overview today and you go, wow, this program sounds really great, but I can't make those date and time commitments or those date and times don't work for me and I don't want to wait until the fall, um, or perhaps doing this in a group setting doesn't feel right to you and you'd just like to access the materials on your own, you're welcome to do that at any point in time. Um, the other important thing for us to flag for you here is that there are continuing education credits offered for the RELS program. So while we will be offering guided group sessions through Mom Congress, you would still need to get your own continuing education credits directly through the National Healthy Start Association. We'll make sure that you understand how to do that if you'd like to access those credits, but we just wanna make sure you know that Mom Congress is not managing those continuing education credits. All right, I'll pause for questions real quick um, and we can go back to the slides when you're ready, Ebony. Thank you so much. So, um, we will talk about the different modules that make up the racial equity learning series, but it's important for us to point out that the series has a top and an end um, completed by what's called the SAMRAC, the Self-Assessed Measure of Racial Equity Capacity. Um, so Ebony, if you'd like to click on, thank you very much, and I'll put a link in the chat here too. This again is available to anyone at any time. Um, if you wanna share this with your communities um, or other groups that you work with, you're welcome to do that. Um, but you'd start the program by taking this self-assessment and Ebony can scroll down here a little bit and give you sort of some insight to what it is, but um, you are answering these questions and they will go into a database. Um, that information is not shared. It is held completely privately, but just letting you know that that that's how these are assessed is virtually and online. You'll need to dedicate roughly 20 minutes um, to complete this assessment. Again, before you begin the modules and then it will be asked of you to complete it again at the end of the sessions. And it's really to show you an arc of growth um, that you have access to by, by going through these sessions. So after you complete um, the SAMRAC assessment, um, you will, and we can skip on to the next slide, actually, Ebony, because we'll talk more about the participation agreement in a minute. Thank you. Um, you will then have access to these seven modules um, that are all virtual. So you'll go on to the RELS website, um, get yourself registered, complete the SAMRAC, and then you'll have access to these modules. Um, what we're asking of our small groups this spring to do is to complete the modules individually and then come back together as a group on several designated days to discuss what was learned in those modules. Um, it was advised to us by the National Healthy Start team that developed this training session to group several of the sessions together and then allow more time for some of the sessions individually that, that might be heavier and or more triggering, requiring a bit more time in between sessions. So you'll see that that's how we've laid out these dates. Thank you. So <clears throat> again, RELS, um, the Racial Equity Learning Series is aimed at the maternal health community specifically. There are seven online modules to complete. You will start and end with a 20 minute online self-assessment known as the SAMRAC. Um, to participate in this program as a Mom Congress member in our spring small group, you will need to make a date and time commitment, both individually and with dedicated group time. So individually will be for before, after, and at your own pace and between the group sessions. So you'll need to allow time for not only to watch the sessions, but to process the sessions and allow ample time for your own healing. Um, and then the dedicated group time is coming together as a group in between those virtual sessions for roughly an hour to, to discuss the material as a small group. And we'll give some more insight here on these next two slides to that. So individually, again, you're asked to do the introductory 
SAMRAC self-assessment um, modules one through six, I think that should say one through seven, but <laughs> all, all of the modules and then conclude with the SAMRAC again. And then we can go to the next page, which will give you the dates. Um, these are also included in the Google form that I'm going to link here that shares all the state and time commitment information. Um, but this is for your insight here. So Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, we have these five dates that have been set aside for community discussion. And then we can go to the next slide. And I think that's where we'll have, just in conclusion that we're in creating a safe spaces where truth telling and uncomfortable conversations can happen. We have hope that healing can happen. And uh, that's really the aim of, of this program is to offer, you know, as a mom Congress member, we want you to have access to education. We want you to be a well-informed and a well-supported advocate. And we also want you to have access to a really unique healing opportunity that um, we're gonna bring together in this first series. So we'll offer these dates in the spring. Um, I'm going to put a link in the chat here, which is a Google form that asks you just to agree to those dates and commitments that we just shared. And in fact, Ebony, if you wanna, I don't know if it'll open for you, but if it will, we could just show everyone what that Google form looks like. Yeah, that's great. So this just gives more, a quick insight to everything I just shared with you. And then further down um, denotes more information about the dates. What happens here is that once you fill out this form, I will reach out to everyone at the beginning of next week with calendar invitations to hold those times on each of those dates. Um, and then Ebony and I will have a dashboard on the back end that we can check in with everyone as we're going throughout the session to say like, hey, here's a reminder, we're having our um, module three group meeting next week. Please make sure you've taken the time to complete your module individually before we come together as a group. And there's a link to that form. Um, one other thing I would like to mention that was asked during the last session, um, and again, open up for questions anytime, please come off mute or, or drop in the chat if you have any questions for us. We will be doing this session again in this manner where we check in several times throughout uh, a six or eight week period in the fall. We're also going to offer a session where we check in at the beginning and at the very end. Um, which was a member request, which we thought was really great, a different style of bringing a group together and less interaction points, but still an opportunity um, to begin and end the group and have reflection about the, the learning opportunity. So you can look out for those dates as well. And if you have further insider ideas, we welcome those too. So please bring them forward. Um, and I will pause again here and see if anyone has questions or reflections, thoughts, this is great, you've done something similar, you've done this, you've done something different that would be better, we'd love to hear all of it. This is Michaela, I think this is a great idea. Um, I just wanted to ask if you would be able to show the dates again so that I could screenshot it. Of course. And I'll drop them in the chat too, actually, if that would be helpful. Okay, thank you. You're so welcome. So again, this will be the first offering for um, to bring this small group together within the community in the spring but we will do it again in the fall and then we will offer um, stylistically different opportunities to do it as well. Um, Shaden, thank you. So great question. No, these sessions will not be recorded. So today's session is being recorded as an informational session to, to put forward the opportunity for all of our members who weren't able to join us live here this morning, let them know um, the idea and what we're up to, but all of these sessions will be held privately um, and we'll have in-depth discussion as a group um, about what our communal responsibilities will be for keeping that space private and 
only for those that are within the group? Great question. Okay, keep them coming if you like, and then just um, want to share with you all that we have a member networking session coming up on Thursday, March 14th. So um, our last quarter session was in December, and it was so much fun. We just had a really good time getting to hear what people are up to. Um, people brought their successes and their questions and their hopes and um, their amazing information about what they're doing in their communities. So we hope that you'll join us. Thanks, Ebony. And then we also want to put a reminder for you all. We'll share information out via email um, and get the toolkit loaded on our member webpage soon. But um, Black Maternal Health Week is also upcoming in April. So um, information for you here. Um, it's loaded on the Mom Congress member calendar, but these dates actually break down all the things that are available. So if you're looking to plan something in your community or access a community event, those dates are published on their website as well. So happy to bring that to you all. And I think that is all we have to share today. Ebony, do you have anything else to share? No, maybe if we want to drop the link for the networking session, Crystal, if they wanted to register for that, is that a registration link, Zoom link? It's actually, it'll be a Zoom link, but it's member only. So it'll be on their calendar with just- Okay, a, perfect. With, yeah, with a direct link to, to join. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, everyone, thank you very much for your time today. Um, we know- Crystal, can I ask a quick question? Is Zay, I'm sorry. Hi, Zay. Listen, Hi. I don't want to be that person. I'm the person that comes in like at five seconds before you end and everybody's like, dang. No, that's fine. Because a lot of people, it's right when you hang up, that's when you go, oh my gosh, I have a question. So please, I'm glad to hear it. Um, I may have missed this because I was kind of in and out, but um, I wanted to ask, one, is this just being offered to Mom Congress uh, members or is this going to be offered to the community as a whole? Yes, so these... Um... These sessions will be for members only and then member just members who have registered for the small group. So um, we have our 420 some odd members. Um, we're looking to have 20 people or less register for each of these unique sessions. So there will be a small group in the spring that goes through 20 or less, and then we'll do another one in the fall. Um, and then again, those other stylistically different ones too. But the recommendation to us is to have the group be 20 people or less, especially since all of our meetings are going to be virtual. They said that's sort of the, the best number to aim for. But we still have um, membership opportunities. So if people want to become members and would like to join in on this work, um, I'll drop in the, the links in chat here as well. But we still have our $5 membership code um, for a $5 annual membership. And then we still have scholarships available as well. So if people are not yet members and want to become members, we would love for them to join us to do this work. Okay. And my second question is, you know, um, when we initially joined Mom Congress, then we had the Mama's Voices training that we went through yeah. and um, which kind of like evolved in us being uh, PFPs so I'm my I guess my question is, are you guys thinking of doing something similar to that? Like having like a, a certification piece to say that, hey, you have taken this training, you are an expert in this particular area. Is that something that you guys thought about doing? That's a really good question. I can take this one, Crystal. Go right ahead. Um, so as we um are so yes, Zay, I know I totally get where you're going with that. And yes, it will play a role. Um, I don't want to necessarily say certification, but it will play a role in um, more of a leadership opportunity that we are developing for Mom Congress members, if that makes sense. Um, knowing that you've taken the Mama's Voices training and knowing that you went through this um, training as well um, will make you or an individual more equipped and more prepared and more, I guess you could say, credentialed <laughs> for the roles um, that we're fleshing out internally, if that makes sense. Okay, thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And just to piggyback onto that, um, Zay, so while we won't have like a certification necessarily, you still can access the continuing education units through National Healthy Start. Um, 
So just putting that as a, as an added benefit too. And then I want to take the opportunity since you mentioned it, um, everyone will have seen when you became a member that you have access to the Mama's Voices storytelling training, which they just mentioned. So you still have access to that. Um, that's something that all members get access to the day you become a member. And we hope that you'll take the opportunity to complete it. It's a really fantastic training. And the and yes, you do have the opportunity there to become a patient family partner, which can lead to amazing work through Mama's Voices and their advocacy too. So great partnership with them. Hello, it's Michaela. Um, I have a few questions, two questions. Um, so I joined Mom Congress in September. Does the membership go from September to September or has it started over because it's the new year? Great question. Um, they roll over based on when you join. So September to September. Um, and it okay. will just, yeah, just be a rolling notification for you there. Okay. And is there any um, details or about a time frame of when you guys may do like the Hill Day events again? Yeah, absolutely. Ebony, do you want to jump in there? So sorry, I was in the middle of transitioning. Can you repeat the question? 